So today's problem is problem 17 of the MIT uh, 2024 Integration Bureau regular season, which is the indefinite integral uh, of uh, 2 to the power x times x squared. So it's, a, it's an interesting problem where you have uh, the exponent kind of flipped um, with the base, um, which is interesting. Anyway, um, so before I jump into uh, trying to solve this, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for the support you've given us. Uh, we don't take that for granted. Uh, your support motivates us to come back here time and again. Uh, for our first-time visitors, what we do here is we do like mathematics. We go about and around and look uh, for interesting problems. We solve them and we come back and share with you uh, the solutions. Uh, for our repeating visitors who haven't subscribed, we do really encourage you to subscribe to our channel. So for this problem, um, the first thing uh, one would do is uh, choose one of these. Um, I, I choose two to the power x. And they say let u be equal to two to the power x such that natural logarithm u uh, equals to uh, natural logarithm of two to the power x. And using the laws of logarithms, the x goes this side such that um, 1 over u du dx is equals to natural log of 2. And so du over u log 2 can be substituted for uh, dx. Now the integral 2 to the power x times x squared can now be expressed as in place of 2 to the power x we have u in place of uh, x squared. So if you look at this here, uh, x is the same as uh, log, natural log u over log 2. And so x squared is natural log u over natural log 2 all squared. And then in place of dx, we've now brought this du over u times natural log 2. And so we can pull out the natural log 2 out. So we have 1 over uh, log natural log 2 squared times log 2. So in the, as a constant here, we have 1 over natural log 2 to the power 3. And then uh, this u here and this u uh, cancel each other. And now we're left with uh, natural log u squared. Some people would like to express that as log squared. I prefer to just keep it in brackets the way it is right now. And so um, this expression here can also be uh, written as, um, because there's a hidden one here, times one, which can be expressed as the derivative of u. And so using integration by parts, where if you have a product of u, capital U, and a product of D, capital V, when integrated, that is the same as U, capital U, times capital V, minus the integral of capital V times D, capital V. Now, U here for us is log u squared and dv is the derivative of u here so that now our answer here would be the product of u and v first which is going to be log u squared times u um, and yeah minus V D U is going to be, since our V is U, U times, if you have your function Y equals to log U squared, DY, DU is equals to 2 times log, u 
times the derivative of log u. Now the derivative of log u is the same as one over u. So we have two log u times one over u. And this is exactly what our d capital U is. Put it here, right? Now, as we can see, this u and this u would cancel each other. And so we are left with one over natural log two cubed brackets u times natural log u squared minus two uh, integral log u. We'll repeat the same process where we say, okay, there is a, a minus times one there. There's a hidden uh, times one there. And so we have natural log u times the derivative of u, which is the same as one. And so using the same process of int integration by parts, we have a nested bracket that we're going to develop. So we have um, minus two here in bracket u, log u minus bracket this v, which is u times the derivative of log, which is one over u. So this, that would cancel. And so we have one over natural log two cube in bracket u times natural log u squared minus two u times log u minus the derivative, of, I mean the integral of one here. And integrating one means that we just have a variable u as a result, right? and then the integration constant as usual. So we've gone back to the best um, of things, but there's one thing that we um, had done initially, and that is to substitute uh, for two to the power x with u. And so we're going to have to bring back the two to the power x to complete our uh, integration. So the integral of two to the power x times x to the power two is one over log two to the power three in place of u, we have two to the power x in place of log u squared, we have log two to the power x uh, squared minus in place of u here, log two to the power x, in place of log u, log two to the power x minus in place of u to the power x can open up those brackets and also um, shift things here where we have exponents, we can pull back um, that and then have the same thing here, right? And then pull out uh, two to the power x eventually. But as you can see, this x goes here and then because we have squared here, it becomes x squared. And then here we have x going down and then when you open the brackets and factor out the two to the power x, we have x squared times log two to the power two times two x log two plus two, and then plus integration constant. And this is the answer we've been looking for. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate your support. Until next time, we can say bye-bye.